Ryan Murphy's latest Netflix series, Monster, The Jeffrey Dahmer Story, featuring Evan Peters in the lead role, has once again sparked outrage. The show dramatizes the life of Jeffrey Dahmer, a notorious American serial killer and sex offender responsible for 17 men's deaths between 1978 and 1991. Due to the controversial nature of Dahmer's crimes, it was expected that the show would receive criticism, particularly for its inclusion in the LGBTQ category on Netflix, as well as concerns that the series may romanticize a brutal killer. Amidst a growing list of grievances, the show is now faced with allegations of poor on-set conditions. Kim Alsup, a member of the production team, has come forward with her personal experience, sharing on Twitter that she was subjected to mistreatment while working on the show. According to her, she believes her race may have played a role in her ordeal. Alsup also claimed that there weren't any mental disorders supervisors on set, describing the series as one of the worst shows she's ever worked on as a person of color. She added, I was always being called someone else's name, the only other black girl who looked nothing like me, and I learned the names for 300 background extras. This harassment includes being confused for a black coworker despite their noticeable physical differences. I worked on this project, and I was one of two black individuals on the crew, yet they kept calling me by her name. We both had braids, she was dark-skinned and 510. I'm 55. Working on this took everything I had as I was treated horribly. I look at the black female lead differently now too. In an interview with the Los Angeles Times, she described this series as one of the worst shows that she'll ever work on as a colored person, claiming, I was always being called someone else's name, the only other black girl who looked nothing like me, and I learned the names for 300 background extras. The gravity of the situation is heightened by the fact that the Dahmer series on Netflix sheds light on the societal racism that facilitated Dahmer's prolonged killing spree. Although episode 6 of the series, written by Janet Mock and directed by Paris Barclay, who are people of color, offered some respite, the production assistant found the entire filming process to be a draining experience. According to Alsup, mental health coordinators were not present on the set of Netflix's Dahmer series, which is particularly concerning given the serious nature of the show's content. Alsup went as far as to reveal that he experienced PTSD after watching the trailer, prompting him to write a tweet that he didn't think would receive much attention. The ethical concerns surrounding biopic media have been a subject of debate for a long time. While some argue that it provides valuable insights into the lives of famous individuals, others raise concerns about how the portrayal of events may be distorted or manipulated to suit the needs of the filmmakers. However, when the production of a biopic contradicts the message that it is trying to convey, it raises even more ethical dilemmas. The conflicting circumstances on the set of a biopic can leave audiences wondering who the show is truly for. Are the filmmakers more interested in telling an honest story or in creating a blockbuster hit. When a biopic fails to live up to its intended message, it can feel like a betrayal to those who are hoping for an authentic and respectful portrayal of the subject. Despite these ethical concerns, it is undeniable that biopics have a wide audience appeal. In fact, the controversial biopic in question has managed to break records for having the biggest viewership week on the streaming service, which suggests that people are still interested in watching biopics despite the controversies surrounding them. In conclusion, while the ethical concerns surrounding biopic media are certainly valid, the popularity of these shows among audiences cannot be ignored. It is up to filmmakers to navigate these ethical dilemmas carefully and to ensure that their productions remain true to their intended message. Only then can biopics truly succeed in delivering an authentic and meaningful portrayal of their subjects.